Okay, so I'm gonna soften this out a little bit more. You can see I've got my yellow pan, my green pan, my neutral tint. I'm using a big wash brush. Um, and I have a smaller brush. And I also have my pipette handy. Okay, so I'm gonna get this whole thing wet. I'm happy with it, but I want to be super happy. I loved the background that I had originally, but it was too busy for the beautiful flowers that are going to be the star. So see how I'm getting, now the whole thing is totally wet and lightly going over, ensuring that everything is wet and lightly so I'm not ending up with a lot of brush strokes. Now I'm going to wipe my brush off and look at all that color that came off. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is clean off some of the excess water here because in case I am going to tilt this board, and I probably am, all of this built up water on the sides is going to go leaking in and moving the color and maybe I don't want it there. So I'm just quickly, because I want my paper to stay wet, wicking up some of that excess. Okay, so I like some of the yellow, but I might want a little bit more. So it's kind of light. I mean, um, it's kind of creamy, but I don't want it super heavy either. I'm just going to let that work out. Okay. Going to put some green. I'm mooshing the color because I don't want heavy, uh, fresh color marring the surface. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here and there. Gonna let all of this soften out. You'll see. Now I'm going to lift this and move it. Let the color and water move. It softens and spreads, and that's what I want kind of hard to see because there's a sheen, there's a light on the sheen of all of this water. So I want to wick up an, a little bit of excess right in here. I've got valleys and mountains because the paper when wet it just is going to swell. Okay, and now with my dark, which is a neutral tint, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the darks in. And I really want this to get some darks in here. See how I keep loading my brush, mooshing it around? And putting that down on the wet paper. And I'm moving quickly. I have a valley here, so I want to make sure that that is. Um, creamier because since it's a valley what happens is all the water collects up in here here's another valley right here and I want to soften the effect of what's going on up here so I want to Put some dark color in here, which happens to be 
neutral tint. And maybe drop some of a wetter amount out of here. And a wetter amount out of here, just so it softens. Okay, again, I'm going to just pick up some of this excess, and it is softening and spreading. But I'm going to tilt this so that it spreads even more. Especially where my valleys are. Let it go. Let it go. Oh my god, I sound like a Disney cartoon. What happens is when we tilt the board and let the water and the pigment run, we're re-wetting the surface also. And what happens is it gets a chance to move and to keep everything wet and moist. Now I want the top area to be softer and I want the bottom area to be brighter and noisier. So it gives us a bit of depth. And by letting the color move, it just naturally softens everything out. So what I'm going to do is, I know it's hard to see, but I'm tilting and letting everything move on, on me. And I'm happy. And it's so important to be happy. And I'm happy with that. So I've got some dark areas. And I've got some light areas. Got some bright areas and have some muted areas. And I'm really happy with that. The only thing is, is what happens is it looks so super fantastic while it's wet. And then when it dries, it's a lot more muted. But I've got a softness in here that I'm really happy with. So all of this is very soft. We have some explosions of color. And then it's brighter here and deep, brighter and deeper. And so it looks like we've got a mirror shape going on here. Before I had three separate areas. I still have three separate areas, but it kind of mimics with what's going on here. These look like little leaves out here. These could be another flower. So I'm happy with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it dry. And once it's completely dry, if I'm totally happy, I'm just going to take the masking off. I hope this was uh, really good. We did this in person. Fran, I did this for you so you could see what we did. I'm going to turn it upside down. There's a tiny tilt on the table, so I'm going to let it go flat and level. And now, there, it looks beautiful. Very happy. Okay, that's it.